Living in a war-torn region for the past five years have taught me bitter lessons about hardship that I would like to share with you five habits to avoid a life of hardship. 1. Be contented with what you have. Greed and jealousy are the two basic emotions behind the evil going on in the world today. How many times have you made poor financial decisions because of greed? And how many times have you felt awkward after jealously admiring your friend's house, car or job? Lazy and greedy people are always on the lookout for quick and easy ways of making money. What this ends most people with such mentality is that their greed, jealousy and impatience get exploited by savvy and con businessmen on the internet with promises of making you rich in no time through Ponzi schemes and get rich quick scams. It is okay to want more, but it is foolish to think it will come as quickly as you want. Nothing good comes easy. The first step to getting more is by being contented with what you have at the moment and then look for genuine ways to multiply the little you have in compounding ratios. Two, be passive to people and things that affect your life in insignificant ways. In his book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, Dale Carnegie, after studying tons of health reports, found out that not being passive and worrying a lot about other people's opinion and what they say about you was the major cause of a life full of health crisis and financial hardship. You see, worrying too much about little things which we all tend to do that affects your life in insignificant ways will cost you more stress, more health crisis, and more hardship. Before you hold a grudge against someone, let me remind you of how much this silly action of yours will cost you. It will steal away your happiness, make you grumpy and less likable, it will cause you stomach ulcers, anxiety and depression, it will make you a lonely person and make your life miserable with hardship. 3. Respect everyone you meet. Respecting others would definitely bring you good fortune, no doubt. But if you doubt me, ask yourself why the most respectful candidate always get the job and why the most respectful employee always get the promotion. Ask yourself why learning how to respect elders was the first lesson we were taught as children both at home and in school. You see, respect always brings good fortune to those who respect others, irrespective of who or what they are, and it also guarantees you a life void of hardship. 4. Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. Another fancy way of repeating what I just said is beware of karma. Whatever you do unto others will come back to you in one way or the other. The best way to avoid hardship in your life is by not causing pain or being a pain in the ass for others because problems are like homing pigeons. They always come back home. If you see a hungry man, give him food. If you see a naked woman, clot her. If you see a starving child, feed that child. If you see a stranded stranger, offer him help. These random acts of kindness will one day come back to you in ways you could have never dreamt of. 5. Share with the less privileged. More is given to the hand that gives than to the one that receives. Look around you and you will see that this statement is true. Nothing is too small to be shared among people as long as there is that will to share. I learned this the hard way from my younger sister. Sharing is like investing. When you give to others in times of need, they will remember you in times of abundance and they will come to your rescue when hardship comes knocking.